I'd like to talk to you today about the, the new iAlert for all of our 1510 products that we're going to start uh, providing a standard this March out of Morton Grove. The, the iAlert really measures for two basic things going on in the pump that really help determine the longevity of it. Number one is the vibration within the pump, and number two is uh, the bearing temperature. The vibration uh, levels can then be monitored. When the pump starts up, it'll take 12 different set points within the pump to establish a baseline for it, and then it will start going through a sequence of every five minutes, it'll go back, see where the pump is operating at, and then test against those uh, uh, baseline that were put into the, the eye alert when it did the initial sequence. If it's within the allowed parameters, it'll remain green. If there are a negative reading from the vibration, it has to go through two consecutive uh, iterations of, of measurement where it exceeds those parameters, and then the eye alert will start flashing red, and the user has an idea that there potentially might be a problem going on with it. The other key thing is that the uh, eye alert will allow the user to identify if there's a high temperature situation that's taking place in the bearing itself. So the eye alert will measure if the bearing has reached a temperature of 195 degrees or not. If it hits that 195 degree threshold, then the uh, alert will come on and again, the, the service personnel have the capability of knowing that something's going on. The other neat thing about the eye alert is that it's a completely sealed unit. It's dust tight, water tight, air tight. It's CSA approved, it's in the stainless steel enclosure, and it's got a lithium battery that allows it to operate for three to five years. If a, a user wants to take existing 1510 pumps that are in this facility, we can retrofit those with a new bearing frame, attach an eye alert to it, and you can have a, a standard uh, self-contained condition monitoring system for all of his pumps within the facility that are in suction.